Okay, I'm just going to minimize that so we don't have the audio there. Anywho, uh, what is new in the hood? That is, uh, oh, wait, uh, hmm, something seems a little off. But anyways, um, what's new in the hood? Ah, oh, there we go. That's what I was looking for. I wasn't tracking properly. But yeah, what's new in the hood? But, uh, hey, what do I know? Uh, there we go, there we go. Um, so, you know, the important question. What is new in the hood? Uh, I don't have much to really think about today. I guess the more interesting thing I, I guess that I could say happened to me today is, um, I had some random guy screaming at me about how I'm going to go to, how I'm going to go to hell and whatever. That was interesting. Although apparently he screamed so loud, that I started to get dizzy. Although, I guess it's not that big of a deal. Although I wasn't really wearing anything that would scream, yeah, that guy's going to hell specifically. I was wearing a black sweater and a jacket. And like denim jeans and sneakers. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, that, that guy specifically over there, he's going to hell. For sure. Get dabbed on. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know how to respond to that, honestly. Uh, I'm, I'm just more confused about that guy. Like, there had to be something like wrong with that guy's head if he, if he outright believes, like, oh yeah, that guy's going to hell. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Um, uh, genius level intellect over there. 900 IQ. Play. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's jump into the game. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this thing replay again, I guess. Actually, you know what? Let's, uh, because this is a 4x3 game. Uh, let's use this overlay. Okay, uh, there is one aspect of this game that I don't like. It's like... I think... This is an often overlooked Sonic game. Come on. Oh. Ah! Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay, we flipped the switch that we needed to flip. Now I need to do the same thing, but on the other side now. Not what I had in mind, but okay. Actually, not, I'm going to do this real quick, actually. Let's go back to game selection. Or... Ah, I should have just rewound. Oh, well. Because I want to remap the controls, so it's A and B for the paddles. Oh, it is already. Okay, so it's... C is all, so that's what I have is mapped out then, so I guess... Okay, so it's A and C are the ones I have map. Oh, hey, what's up? K 
Okay, so I guess I need... B and C mapped, then. Alright, that should do it, I think. I think I got it mapped out, right? But yeah, what's up? Ah, there we go. Okay, cool. Yeah, because this controller has uh, back buttons on it, so I'm just going to awkwardly play it with the back buttons. Because it, uh, I don't know, it just feels more natural for playing pinball. Plus, this is like one of the few Sonic games that only requires two buttons. Because it's uh, literally a pinball game. Nope, nope. Oh. <laughs> this is one of the molding, <laughs> molding Sonic games? I don't know. It's definitely one of the more unique ones. Although, to be fair, though, I think this is actually made by the American Sonic team. Because uh, from what I understand, uh, Sonic Team broke into two studios. They had their American team, and then they had their Japanese team. Uh, Sonic CD, for example, was developed by the Japanese team, and I believe Sonic 2 was developed by the American team. But they were basically in development around the same time. Ah! Wait, no, no. You know what? Uh, we we didn't fall off there. Ha ha! Yep, totally didn't die there. It didn't happen. <laughs> Perk of playing with essentially an emulator. I have, I have no idea what happened there. Um, oh, the game just keeps randomly uh, glitching out. <laughs> uh, okay. Ah, eh, you know what? Screw it. We'll just screw it. We'll just go. We'll row our boat. Row, row, row your boat gently down the slime. Sonic's in a fucking can. It's probably full of shit. <laughs> okay, well, we at least got that taken care of. need to do not what I had in mind, but okay. Okay, I was thinking it was to the left. Oh. 
Ah, 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 <laughs> I'm not sure he enjoys this. Although, uh, I mean, he seems to have some level of control, because I can sort of steer him a little bit. But it's very limited control. You know, I actually remember, like, renting this game from, like, um, not Blockbuster, but, like, another video store. I forget the name of the video store, but... I think it was called, like, Jumbo Video? They were never quite as big as Blockbuster, but... They had a better Genesis selection, I remember, compared to Blockbuster at the time. Although, to be fair, though, the Genesis wasn't really relevant anymore at the point where I was still renting Genesis games. Because it was, like, quote-unquote, last console gen. Because everyone and anyone who was a Sega fan was probably buying, like, Dreamcast or Sega Saturn or something. I think at the point where I was still renting Genesis games. Although I did wind up buying a couple Genesis games there. When they, uh, stopped renting them out entirely. Nope. Oh, no! Uh, hmm... You know, funny thing is, actually, I find that in this game, actually, weirdly enough, this is, like, the one Sonic game where I actually find the first level to be the hardest one. Like, no joke. Like, every other game, I find, like, usually it's level 2, level 3, level 4, level 5, level 6, you know, something like that. But no, 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 this one, first level is the hardest one. Like, I would argue in, um, in the original Sonic... I think, um, what was it? Marble Garden Zone, which is, um, Zone 2, is arguably one of the harder ones. Freaking bird. You see what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's like there's so many hazards shoved in the first level that just make the first level inherently harder for the sake of being harder. Okay. Okay, just gonna... There we go. And there we go. Okay, now I got all three emeralds. That's good. Now we can move on to the next uh, section level. Which I believe is this way. Wanted. There we go. Although I will say, this is the easiest boss fight in the game, though. Because you can kind of cheese your way to victory. 
Because you can see, all you have to do is just get in here and, like, you just win. Instantly win. <laughs> My brain would definitely hurt if I tried to play this game. <laughs> I mean, fair. Ha! Well, I mean, there are levels that have more platforming mechanics in it. Although, imagine playing this on the Sega Game Gear, which was far less powerful, because there was a... There was a Game Gear version of this game. And, uh, that's how I originally played this game. Like, don't get me wrong, Game Gear version is fine, it's just... It's a lot harder to play because of how squished and condensed everything is on the screen. Because it's like, oh yeah, yeah, you got this tiny-ass little screen and it's like, ooh. Here, play this on the Game Gear. Oh yeah, I totally didn't cheat. <laughs> nope, nope, no cheating here. There we go. An actual proper pinball game. Oh, and also, um, this one references more of the Sad AM Sonic characters. That's how you can tell this was developed by the American team. So, like, uh, give me a second here. Yeah, like the version, the the tail sprite looks more like he does in the. the the Sad AM cartoon. Yeah, there's Sally Acorn, I think that was her name. Oh! Oh no! You know, there actually was a. a oh, there's a, another. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna. Actually, give me a second here. I'm gonna see if I can. Oh! And I got a fart in my ear. Oh, hey Mario. What's up? Oh, we got a pigeon. Oh, yeah, there you go. There's your sad I am Sonic character. Or if you pr are more of an Archie comic reader, uh, these characters were also in the Sonic uh, comic, which sort of continued from where the sad I am cartoon series left off. Although I do find it kind of amusing that you got, like, Sonic's reflection there on the glass. Nope. I didn't take a bath in lava, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh. Ah, whatever, I'll just let myself die. I will accept death. Although I will say that if you think about it, this level is basically just in the entirety of... Oh! Oh, it's the Game Gear version? Oh, so you have the shittier version of this game. I don't... I don't care what anybody says. The Game Gear version is the inferior version of this game. As in my opinion, it's a lot harder due to the fact you can see less. 
due to the screen real estate on the Game Gear versus the screen real estate on the uh, Genesis. Well, I mean, I think it, I think the Genesis version just looks better. You can play this on the, the Genesis Online app. Like, if you need a quick comparison, if you have the Sonic Origins collection, just you can quickly boot between the two. Although, I will admit, I was tempted to pick up Sonic Origins collection, because I saw it at... Um, Best Buy earlier today? Uh, for the Xbox, for like, uh, what was it? I think it was... I think it was like 50 bucks? For a brand new copy? I mean, I'm not necessarily a against the idea of getting it on Xbox. Just gotta wait for those chickens to fly away. Okay, just gonna... There we go! There we go. Okay, I need to... All right, uh, come on, come on, come on. God, okay, I'm, like, I'm not even, like... I wish to go into the vent. I want to go in the vent. Oh, okay, never mind, that's the boss room, okay. Eh, whatever. Yeah, there we go. Not what I had in mind, but I'll take it. Okay, and then, bloop! Not what I had in mind, but okay.
Come on, let me bounce off these damn chickens. Or robot dodos? Robot pelicans. I'm not really sure what animal I would define these as. I know I can do this. There we go. There we go. There we go. Wait. I, I feel like I need to double back for a second to read what it said there. Oh, clucks are coming. Okay, I thought... <laughs> uh, I, I misread that. It, it's something else. I didn't see the L. <laughs> um, yeah, I did not... Uh... I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> like, piss on my fucking way! <laughs> Stand the hedgehog in the bridge! <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> I miss my wife, Tails. Ah, oh, there we go. And now for the easy- the second easiest boss fight in this game. And you can see why I say that. Because it's literally just... Get Sonic in the bucket. Arguably even easier than the first boss, because the first boss has no fail state. Per se. It's just, if you lose the boss fight, it just shoves you back in the level. At least this one, uh, it can punish you by actually killing you. Granted, it can also punish you by literally shoving you back into the... Okay, I'm just gonna cheat a little bit. Just warp my way back.
Yeah, like, there we go. Yeah, like, that one, like, yeah, that is kind of cheap compared to the other ones. Like, that one actually, like, yeah, like, this fight actually kind of punishes you. God, I keep pressing the shoulder buttons by mistake. Like, I'm playing a modern pinball game. So I'm so used to like modern pinball games mapping the the right and left flippers to the um, the shoulder buttons. There we go. I like where this is going. There we go. I mean, I do like the fact that at least in this game, uh, if you die, you get to keep the emerald progression, but that's about all you get to keep. Everything else that you might have flipped, like switches and what have you, uh, are essentially... Oh! Goddamn fucking gravity, everything fell over. <laughs> okay, this one, if I remember correctly, you just gotta smash out all of Eggman's teeth. Or, sorry, Dr. Ivo Robotnik. Because this is based off his, uh... Archie comic slash Sat AM appearance. He is the Eggman. That's who he is. He is the Eggman. He's got the master plan. You know, I don't know why I'm remembering this, but I remember that the European version of a uh, couple older games from this generation, not specifically Genesis, but um, specifically like PS1 and uh, I guess um, like any CD-based games usually. It's a little quirk with their audio. Uh, in the European releases of those games, a lot of the time... Oh, we don't actually have to win these. It's optional. So I'm not really too worried about resetting these. I do find it kind of funny, like... That, like, basically, you just got, like, this... Oh, there we go. Now I can play this like a proper Sonic game. Okay, when it moves back, just gotta... Oh, wouldn't let me... Oh, his jump doesn't have carry much momentum. Okay. That's mildly disappointing. I was kind of hoping the jump would have a little more momentum to it. No, never mind. Continue.
Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Wait, wait, wait. When I crouch, it stops the thing dead in its tracks? Yeah, seems legit. <laughs> Gotta love how I can just, like, derail this whole thing. Come on. This level is like driving me nuts more because I'm like, it's not because it's hard, it's just. I'll take this over having to restart the whole level. Just gonna wait for that to move. There we go. Let me just get slightly aligned. Okay, if I... I know if I hit that enough times, it'll lock it in place. There we go, we can just use the the platform that's shifting left and right to cheat a little bit. Eh, oh, whatever. Come on. Whatever, okay. Uh, whatever, okay, there we go. Come 
Come on. And... At some point, I'd like to do a, like to do Mario Party at some point on stream. Although I feel like it, it's not as fun doing that one by yourself, Mario Party. I need to get people who have or have Mario Party or get people together at my place to do it. it doesn't even matter specifically which Mario Party, just a Mario Party. Cool, okay, this is an elevator. That's handy. I'll just stay on here for a bit. There we go. Okay, just gonna do this all over again. Lift. There we go, okay, we'll just keep going up. Seeing as the platforms are locked for a bit. God, I keep trying to play this like it's a modern game. I forgot how frustrating this game can be sometimes. Oh, fuck off. No one's at my door, is there? 
God damn it. <laughs> I mean, a little, a little. It shifts my anger away from the game and to people. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. Uh, okay, I need to rewind a little bit. Because I lost track of where I was... Okay, I was paused for a bit there. <laughs> uh, you joined uh, one of the weirdest pinball games, and me just being... Ah! I don't know, uh, get dabbed on, I guess, huh? <laughs> Is that work? Nope. Uh, whatever. Yeah, this is a, a Genesis game that came out pretty close to the, the end of the system's lifespan, if I remember correctly. This was released on the Mega Drive slash Genesis and the uh, Sega Game Gear. This is the, uh, the Genesis version. Oh, like, from, like, what I'm going on about? Ah! Honestly, I, I kind of miss that JonTron doesn't really do game uh, game stuff anymore, really. He mostly just does, like, whatever he feels like. Oh, I will dab on you all day long. I dab to assert dominance. Uh, next thing you'll be telling me is I can't T-pose to assert dominance on people. Ugh. Yeah, honestly, I kind of miss that he he does he did that. He doesn't do that anymore. Like he does occasionally do it, but it's like very very rare. Like, I think he still, like, a lot of his, uh, merch designs still reference his gaming stuff. Like, so, like, if you buy, like, JonTron merch or whatever, it, uh, it still references the gaming stuff. There we go. Oh, uh, if you dev or cheapos, you'll hit me? With what? Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. Now I got the second one. Okay. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Although I really do need to get it. Um, maybe I should look into like uh, integrating some kind of throwing system. Because I've, like, a bunch of streamers that I follow even, like, do stuff with, like, throwing systems. Okay, no, 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 we're, we're not going back. There we go. 
<laughs> uh, no questions. <laughs> EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! 10 plus to emotional damage. Oh. Oh, god damn it, I can't keep bouncing off! There we go. Where the hell is the final crystal at? There's there's usually three crystals. I've got two of the crystals so far. I'm guessing the third crystal is like somewhere in one of these side rooms? Um... Sure. Okay, we'll take we'll take that. A possum or a raccoon? Hmm. I mean, I, I guess possums, because I mean, I see raccoons all the time. They're not really that funny to me. Possums are a little more funny, I guess, because they're they're a little more rare. Shut up! 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 Shut up. No. I hear you talking. Shut up. No. Shut up. No. No. I, I will not listen to myself telling me to shut up. I will not shut up for me. <laughs> Alright, give me a second here. Um, let me pause the game here. Um, oh, god damn it. I finished off my uh, water. Give me a second. I'm, I'm gonna go grab something from the fridge. I got some water bottles in the fridge. I'm just gonna go grab one real quick. Be right back. Okay, I am back. I have gotten my water. Although I am also debating if I should alternatively, I got the got this uh, G fuel here. It's the Spyro the Dragon flavor. But no, nah, water's good enough. Mm. Nice clean water. Oh, probably turn now. Uh, Screen back on. Hmm, okay. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'm not offended. I'm not one that's so easily offended. 
I, I think the most offensive thing I've had to deal with today is some guy randomly screaming at me that I'm going to hell. In song form, no less. I wish I was making that up. There's like... There's like some, like, religious group or whatever... Um, in a part of the city I was doing, they were like handing out pamphlets or whatever. And there was like this one dude who was like on a loudspeaker or whatever. <laughs> and he's like screaming like, You're all going to hell! Because you don't believe in Jesus! <laughs> or like some nonsense like that. And it's like, um... <laughs> it's like, okay. Um... And the dude's even, like, misquoting, like, Bible scripture to me. And it's like, here's the thing. When I was in high school... <laughs> Honestly, here's the thing. I'm kind of the mindset, like, I don't like religion. Period. Full stop. I don't necessarily dislike people who, like, are part of religious groups or whatever. It's like, just don't shove your ideology on other people. It's like, like, I, I just don't care. It's like, you can be whatever religion you want. You're allowed to have your beliefs, I'm allowed to have my beliefs. And if mine happen to be wrong, so be it. Oh, you want to, uh, the Halloween outfit? Give me a second here. Actually, I have it on a quick, uh, quick toggle. Give me a second here. Uh, where is my quick toggle button? Oh, there it is. Okay, gotta click load. And here it is. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, give it a second to load. Uh, this is the Halloween avatar that they were talking about. I don't know if I go full screen, or not full screen. Here, we'll, we'll use the Halloween background uh, so you can get a better idea of what it was like. I haven't gotten around to removing the Halloween theming yet. But yeah, like, this is more or less uh, it right here. Yeah. So I'll go back to my normal outfit. Or actually, you know what? We'll put on a different outfit, actually. We'll put on a different hoodie. We'll put on my nice blue one. Wait, did I accidentally overwrite it? Oh, no, there we go. Okay, it just takes a little longer to load because it's a, a fancier hoodie. Oh, I still have it. I'll probably use it when I go back to Final Fantasy XV at some point. I mean, it's a good enough thumbnail. I, th I think it might be good. Uh, oh, well, I mean, I, I guess, you know what? I guess it is purple. It also glows in the dark. Oh, hey, Armored Bear. Uh, give me a second here. I can I can show you. This hoodie actually glows in the dark, too, if I, uh... If I go... Full screen here. It's a little easier to show off on a bigger screen. If I go... Let's see. Go effects here. And then I just... Oh, there we go. Lighting settings. Toggle the lighting off. Ah, oh, there you go. Now you can see. The hoodie itself glows in the dark. I... I... Mm, a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, I guess. Fair enough. I'll, here, I'll I'll turn the lights back on. Or maybe I should just sit in the dark. It's like gaming in the basement at 2 a.m. at Grandpa's house all over again. Ah, uh, here we'll just we'll just keep the lights dim. There we go. We'll we'll do it like this. Nice dim lights. But yeah, you you are right. It is purple. I I just misremembered. It's not so much that I was colorblind. When I said it was blue, it's more I misremembered.
Oh yeah, I, I love... Although I guess a lot of my quote-unquote uh, basement gaming was mostly at a friend's place. Because uh, um, when he used to live at his parents' place, uh, they had a little gaming room set up in the, the basement when his older brother moved out. Because his older brother's room was in the basement originally, right? And when his older brother moved out, um, they kind of converted the basement into a, I guess you could say, like a little rec room. And then, I guess, um, shortly after, um, when he needed a little more space, I think when, I think basically when he was in college, um, he basically wound up taking the basement and turning it into his bedroom. Either way, a lot of fun hanging out in the basement, though. Like, yeah, sure, there's a little bit of a draft every now and again, but I mean... I mean, that, that comes with the territory of, you know, being in a basement and all. Oh, you have a basement, a bedroom, and a... Okay, you have a basement and a bedroom. I mean, in my case, like, I live in an apartment, so the whole thing is, like, upstairs <laughs> at this point. Honestly, I would love to live in a house again. But it's like, um... I don't know, I feel like, I feel like my rent would just be too high if, if I did live in a house again. Unless, uh, unless I can get into this, uh, this one place I want to get to? Because it's, um, it's a nice, it's a nice enough area, but it's, like, really far out. It's all the way out in Scarborough area? So it's not even, like, in Toronto anymore. It's in a completely different city. Come on, come on. Let me. Uh, it really depends on where you're going, Canada. At least in my experience. Part of it is kind of like literally where you choose to rent in Canada. Like if you're in Vancouver or if you're in like say um, Toronto, uh, those are pretty high rent areas. But like stuff like Scarborough is a lot lower, more uh, manageable rent prices. Alternatively, um, London, Ontario. I've been out in London, Ontario a few times. Nice place. Although, everything is like really far away, so it's like you, you have to own a vehicle of some kind if you plan on living in London. Ah. UK. This would be a nice place, actually. Let's, let's try doing it.
come on. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, sleepless nights. <laughs> Apologize. Oh, there we go. There's the third one. Wait, why is... I swear I was here earlier and it's like the gem wasn't there at all. Did I have to, like, bust open a bunch of those locks for the emerald to spawn? Uh, must be the case. Hmm. Ah, oh, but lives in Sweden most of their life. Wait, 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 what are you going on about, game? Two more emeralds. I grabbed three. There's two more emeralds in this stage? Huh. No, 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 gotta be careful. Let me just break more stuff. Break all the things! Break all the things! Break all the things! My name is Sonic the Hedgehog, and I'm gonna break your kneecaps! <laughs> Yahoo! Let's go! Oh, wait, there's two more locks. Yeah, <sighs> whatever. Let him go down. There we go. There we go. Uh, oh, damn. Well, it's the worst thing you've ever experienced. God damn, that sounds it's like just a nightmare and a half. Uh, can't say, can't say I recall ever getting surgery, but... Actually, no, 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 I did. I did get surgery when I was younger, but um, I just don't remember it. Because it was so long ago that I was, like, too young to remember? But I'm still feeling the effects of the brain damage, 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 damage. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, 
All right. Light speed. I mean, you could probably work in an office space. At least that's my opinion on the matter. I mean, office space, is, uh, office work is probably still somewhat viable, right? Like something where you're basically sitting in a chair all day. Or at a desk. Oh god. I, I know you're probably- I know you're saying that as a joke, but I actually know someone who does that. And she makes a killing selling those pictures. All the way fair, though, apparently she has very nice feet. Or so I've been told. Hey! Whatever works, right? I'm not gonna judge... much. Wait a minute. Aha. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yeah, uh okay, sure, why not? <laughs> he said sarcastically. Don't actually want any, okay? Oh god. Woo! Goddamn gravity! I'm gonna go in this, into this final plunger here. Oh god. I don't know if I should know this cursed in- uh, this privileged information. Oh god, now I feel like I'm on a watch list. I don't know why I was remembering this, but I remember, apparently, um, a friend of mine was telling me, um, that apparently, like, when he went to a, uh, a free convention, don't know why he's mentioning the free convention, uh, that apparently a large amount of them, or at least the ones that he met at the convention, are, um, engineers. There is just a, a shocking amount of engineers that are also furries. But I mean, I guess if if you got that kind of crazy money, I guess it's like, hey, like compared to like um, some other professions, engineers get pretty decent money. So I mean, hey, they got money to build. I guess they have to have the money to be able to afford those suits. As to my recollection, free suits can get pretty expensive very fast. As I think I got. 
even like some of the cheaper ones like cost like in the thousands. Because I think I remember him telling me like one suit that he saw cost like roughly 6k. Sorry. Uh. Oh, that's what I was feeling, tickling my foot. Sorry, like the cord from my headset was uh, dangling on the floor and it like, was tickling my foot. <laughs> huh. Go figure. Okay, there we go. Okay, cool. I want to land on the platform, please, game! Skirt. You're talking to a guy who's worn a maid outfit before. Give me a second, actually. I think I have the photo lying around still, actually. Give me a minute. Let me see if I can find it. Because I know I sent it to a friend because I thought it might... Give me a second here. Uh, ah, okay, found the photo. Found the photo. Okay, we're gonna we're just gonna add it to the browser feed here real quick. Just ignore the uh, the blue square. It'll be replaced with the actual photo in a second. Ah, there we go. Uh, just uh. You know, normal, uh, normal photos. Just, uh, me and the boys. <laughs> Never to be seen again. <laughs> uh... Oh, God. An embarrassing photo. Basically, uh, um, I was walking by the maid cafe, 
and uh, or the Maid Cafe booth. This is at a convention. Um, I'm sorry, I usually don't uh, just give people mod if they ask for it. What, what do you need mod for? Because if it's just to share a link or something, you can... Like... Like, if you don't want me asking. If it's a Twitch clip, I'm pretty sure you can share it uh, without having to worry about uh, any issues. As uh, Twitch allows you to share, the auto mod shouldn't block it if it's a clip from Twitch. Uh, you just can't share URLs from other websites, to my knowledge. So if I say like a YouTube or something like that clip. Oh, is it? Uh, well, I know that you can share it in the, uh, the Discord server with no issues. Hmm. Huh. Okay, that's odd. Give me a second here. Um... Well, I do allow, uh... Links to be shared in the server. Uh, there's actually a, a special, like, dedicated clips channel there. So. Although I can, I'll see the, I'll see the clip afterwards, like. Mm. Okay, I need one more emerald? Where the hell is this emerald at? Do I need to, like, look up a guide for this level to where I need to go? I have... Huh? Oh. Well, Discord is also available through web browsers. You don't really need to install anything. As long as you're using a, uh, a Chromium-based browser, so, like, Google Chrome, Opera GX, um... Hell, even the Microsoft Edge browser... Any of those will be compatible. I think even Brave is made with Chromium. Uh, basically, I think as long as it's not Firefox, I think you're good. As I think, like, Firefox is, like, one of the few browsers that's not Chromium-based. Okay. 
Okay, maybe I should try the, uh... No? Okay, let's try... Okay, let's try here. No? Okay. Okay, note to self. Okay, we'll just, uh, we'll cheese a little bit. Okay, we'll go past that one. Past that one. Well, Oh, there we go. It was in that hole. It's not supposed that this is a hard level, it's just more of a nuisance due to all the uh, constant uh, back and forth I've had to do for this level. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do this the easy way. Um, um, wait, what's going on now? Oh, you know what? I'll just let the, let the game do its thing. Yeah, this is definitely, okay, you know what? I think this is actually easier than the other boss. I'm a little confused as to why this boss fight is so easy. Although, watch it just suddenly get harder. Hey, honeybee, how you doing? Ah, uh, scare the crap out of Willow, don't you? Let me just rewind like a few frames here, just so I don't immediately kill myself.
Oh, God. Oh, yeah, obviously in game. Yeah, because if, if I die in the game, I die in real life. That, that, that's, that, that, this, this is how it works. It's just like Jumanji. Although, I will say, I'm surprised they've made like so many Jumanji games. I know that they, they tried to make a spin-off of Jumanji that was like set in space or whatever, or it had like a space-themed uh, board game. What was it called? Like Zathura or something like that? I remember that was kind of interesting, but I'm surprised they never brought back the, the concept. Because Jumanji is the one that keeps getting rebooted. Because, like, it was the board game of Jumanji, and then it kind of got brought back as a video game. Okay, we got the safety net. Okay, come on. Just gotta keep going with this. Come on, let me just get in the hole. Get in the hole, get in the hole, get in the hole. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, and you're not really fine. You just can't get into it because they would never understand. There we go. Get dabbed on, Eggman. Is that the last level? Oh, no. Oh, oh. Oh, not gonna fall for that one again. I'm not falling for it. I already fell for it so bad that I actually walked out of the room and went and checked my front door. Second here. Let me just uh, take a swig of water. <laughs> nice, refreshing water. Ah. 
Um, how do I open it now? Do I just... Do I just hit it in the middle? Oh, okay, I just kept hitting it, and it would just crack open on its own. Okay. Oh, that really was the last stage. Or not. It was the last level on the island. Oh, you gotta get going? Alright. You take it easy, then. Stop it there, and then... Bloop! Nope. Nope. What? 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 Uh, 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 nope. Come on. Oh, go away. Oh, go away. Oh, go away. Oh, go away. Uh, pinballs. Oh, okay, I see it actually says ready to fry. So like that's unavoidable death, okay. Okay, so there's a bit of RNG to it.
you know, you can actually kind of hear like similar music to like games like Comic Zone. So I'm wondering if the composers who worked on this game also worked on, might have worked on Comic Zone. But then again, kind of has like that tinny Genesis sound. There's something about Genesis music that I just like a lot. Okay, looks like I just gotta hit the the plungers there in the ceiling to release the crystal. Although, thankfully, it doesn't seem to matter which plungers. Hey, 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 what's up? Ah, okay. Um, uh, it's honey, you, honeybee, again. Once again, you are blowing flatulence in my ear. Once again, we're blowing the big stink in Mr. Tim's ear. Uh, scare? That's a big word. Startle? Maybe. Scare? Not so much. But definitely startle. Okay, I can get the gem. Wow, this is actually kind of hard to get. Because you gotta, like, time the jump off the... what the fuck? Because you gotta time the jump off the flipper, because this one's more platforming precision than uh, pinball precision. I mean, there is some level of precision with the pinball, but not as much. we go. Now we got it.
Come on, let me let me shoot up. Okay, this one's a little more... Oh, god damn, okay, this one's actually kind of hard, okay. Okay, let's see, go back to where we were. Nope. That is not what I was supposed to do. Yep, okay, it's a similar situation to the other one. Okay. I can actually do this, I can do this, I can do this. Ah, flim flam florg. This is almost as angry as or this is making me almost as angry as that guy who was screaming at me. You're all going to hurt! <laughs> Unless you re repent to Jesus! <laughs> or something like that. I don't know. That, that guy was weird. It's like, what makes him think that everyone is going to go to hell unless they repent to Jesus? Hmm? makes him claim to be the expert on religion.
Freaking fly land on my leg. What the hell was that all about? Uh, if anything, that startled the hell out of me more than anything. Look at that, it's like, I am a fly! Let me land on your leg! I'll freak the hell out of you! And then I'll be dead. Mostly because I'm, I'm probably going to wind up swatting at it. Let's be realistic here. Because if you feel a fly or something crawling on your leg, you're going to swat at it almost impulsively. Whether you want to admit it or not. There we go. Okay, we got one. I know that if you leave the game paused long enough, it does sometimes give you information about what's going on in the game. Uh, nope. No, no information here. Okay, cool. Uh, or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I am wrong. I'm allowed to be wrong. But in this instance, I'm pretty confident I'm right. But... I uh, guess I am wrong. Oh well, whatever. There's probably like one or two more of those, uh... There we go. Well, at least we figured out how many I need more. Spoiler alert, it's, uh, it's two more. Fall. No? Okay, let's try this again. Go back...
Spin dash, spin dash, spin dash. There we go. Okay, that's one down, one to go. Okay, I need to get the one in the middle here. I didn't want to go up. I want to stay down. Just feathering it. It's like, God, we're just. edging the little thing. Okay. No. No, not what I wanted. There we go. All the emeralds collected. Now we can go into space. Come on, end up. Orbit, you go. Come on, let me go up.
right? Ah, that cursed hedgehog! <laughs> He's on my spaceship! Fucking up my shits! Yo! He be... Blasting my... Minecraft server, I don't know! Uh, he keeps saying, I got you. Dude keeps trying to eject me into space! Oh, that is literally a sound effect from Comic Zone. The little... Glass smash effect. That's, uh, from the level where you fight the little slime creatures. Here, I guess?
Smell your socks. What the hell? Sonic, I will not do that. Sonic, stop being weird. Sonic's got a weird thing about wanting people to smell his socks. Bart's all about eating- having people eat his shorts. Come on, in the middle you go. Okay, I gotta get his arm to pop off, I guess? Gonna hit it one more time, I think. go into the middle. Okay, four more to go. Four more to go. Come on. I can do this. I can do this. Come on. Five more and we, we finish this game.
There we go. I like how I like how that one went. Two more to go. Ah, oh, whatever, I'll just... Uh... Right, and then... Bloop. There we go. This is the final level. Ah, nice refreshing water. Oh, Sonic and Robotnik are both falling back to Earth. He's like, no! Nah! <laughs> that little it was like, sort of like him going like, shit! <laughs> oh no. Yeah, that little like me sound is like him basically going she. Yep, this is definitely an American team because you can see like American sounding names. Okay. Okay. Well, we've finished. Um, Game okay, we finished the game. Uh, not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting to finish it so quick. Um, it's not a very long game now, is it? Freeze, Freeze. she uh, okay. Uh, hmm, you know, what? let's not, you know, what? we'll do, we'll do, we'll do this one. We'll do this game. We'll do Seek again. Alright, uh, let's just... Edit category and, uh, we'll, we'll switch over to... We'll switch over to this game for now.
All right, category is changed. And uh, all right, 